back to my citizen channel. I hope you're all staying safe and well. And it's um match day program. Watch the away version. We give you a little table. We have a look through where we rate a program. So today we're gonna to have a look at this one. Arsenal away, a stapled one. So yes, as you'd expect with a stapled one, like United do with their stapled one, there's a, a nice poster in the middle. Uh, not much used to City fans. Well, it could be actually, but uh, yeah, we'll talk about that when we get to it. So we're going to have a look through this programme today. Arsenal versus Manchester City. The game went well, of course, eventually, even though obviously at half-time I probably thought, uh, well, I'll take a draw, but uh, we, we upped it a little bit, didn't we, in the second half. So we'll have a look through the programme, see what's what, anything worth in there, anywhere, anywhere worthwhile reading. This is available from reachsportshop.com, like this City programme, so you can get it for face value, plus pound fifty postage if you fancy it, but we'll see. I might put you off. Right, yes, uh, please, if you are new to the channel, please push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. It'd be great to have you on board. Everything City, of course, City Past, Present, Forever. It's just like a little magazine, blog this, lots of different things I try and do. Uh, lots of uh, content, lots of... What's the word? Eclectic. An eclectic mix of stuff on Manchester City, of course, from the past past to now. So, uh, please, if you are pushing buttons, I've already pushed that button. If you can give us a little like push as well the I'm trying to get between 15 and 20 likes which uh, i'm achieving now on a couple of vlogs so if you can do that for me just a small target for these city vlogs be much appreciated just press that thumbs up that like button right let's have a look at this arsenal i had a flick through it looked yeah obviously i read this on the way back from from the game uh, i went down to, to arsenal and uh yeah interesting in, interesting not in the greatest way this this magazine it's uh not exactly a football magazine. It's more an Arsenal fan magazine, which you expect, but you do expect perhaps stuff on the opponents as well for information. But perhaps perhaps that's why the Arsenal fans aren't too well up on other teams because they, they don't even you know they don't even get told it in their own little programs about history and stuff. So perhaps that's why we get stupid comments from people. But uh, hey, we'll not dwell on that one. Let's have a look at Wolves are top at the moment. Yeah, Wolves top the list. 8 out of 10, right all the way down to the Southampton Carabao Cup one, which probably only got got 6 out of 10 bottom of the table, mainly because it wasn't many pages, but it was cheap enough. It's only a couple of quid. It's more a memento than a, than a programme, if you like. It's £4 for a compact 92 pages, so that's pretty good. And there's only 14 pages approximately. There's a few little community things and stuff, but I'd, I'd say 14 pages of promotions and ads, which is incredibly low. So, yeah, hopefully lots and lots and lots of stuff to read and interest uh, uh, City fans and Arsenal fans as well, hopefully. Uh, in the specific City section, well, we've got five pages, including a scouting report of how we play and how our players play work obviously Arteta probably got a bit more detailed information but there was a nice touch yeah 30 years of the Premier they put some stats in which was interesting on the 30 years and we'd actually spent at those 30 years 26 in the Premier League if you didn't know that you may, you may have done uh, most appearances is David Silver at the moment with 309 and of all the games we've played in the Premier League, I think Arsenal scored over 2,000 goals. We're a little bit behind them, but as I said, we're four seasons behind them as well, aren't we? So, 1,714. So, yeah, it probably puts us probably slightly ahead of the average out our recent years, how many goals we've scored, but uh, interesting. So, we scored 1,714 goals and let 1,019. So, my thanks to Arsenal for those st stats. Any other City stuff? Well, this is where it all falls apart for me as an avid historian, as you know. And this is what I'm saying. Perhaps um, there's nothing else linking City and Arsenal in any way. There's no ex-players that have played for both. There's no looking back at past games. Uh, and that's perhaps this is why AFTV and idiots on there don't know much about City's history because they certainly don't get it from the Arsenal programme, their own programme, so they're not going to learn anything from that. So, yeah, very, very disappointing. Uh, it's pretty much downhill. So, really, it's just Arsenal stuff for, uh, to look at or anything of interest in there. There's a couple of quirky things. Uh, of course, we've got all the normal managers, chief execs, captains, players, staff interviews, reports, women under 18s and the 20, under 23s, all that sort of stuff. So a little, little bit different. Yeah, it's Giorgino's on the inside. Yeah, my apology. Uh, my, it's actually on the inside as the main interview. And it's sort of... Uh, looking for inspiration, though, it's rather than just a general interview. It's asking about things and where they found inspiration during the career. So that's Jorginho features. And we, of course, have Arsenal celebrating the 30th year anniversary of the Premier League. And they featured in every year, of course. 
And the uh, interest, this is this is good. Yeah, they feature one of their 2,000 plus goals, but it's by the minute. So in this one, they're actually looking at goals scored in the 47th, the 48th, the 49th, and the 50th minute. So they pick a game. Uh, they've won them all. I noticed when I looked through, nothing to do with no, no involvement with City. And of course, these are all games between 1998 and 2006. But uh, interesting stuff. I might, I might go for that. I mean, obviously, we can think of. A great city goal and a description in the ninety fourth minute, can't we? One springs to mind, but why not? Why not? I might do that a feature in the future. Well, if you let me know, guys, I might say famous city goal scored in the first minute, famous city goal scored in the second minute. That's, uh, take a bit of research, but it's interesting. What do you think? Let me know. Let me know if you, know you think that's a good idea for my history vlogs. That, but uh, yeah, I might nick that. Well done, Arsenal. So I like that idea. My favourite shirt is just a fan shirt. The thoughts, not on a particular shirt they own, uh, just a set of shirts that they like. Perhaps they bought a replica shirt themselves. And the fan picked uh, the gold Sega shirt, which, uh, yeah, from 2001, 2002. It looks a bit pink to me. It doesn't look really gold, but hey, he, he liked it anyway. And, of course, as I said, it's a staple programme. So the big pull-out poster will be up there, but obviously Zinchenko yeah the big pull out poster is uh, Zinchenko in the middle that's great great for the kids because there's no quizzes or anything so they've got to have something to get out of the magazine and the 90 odd pages not many adverts you think they'd care a bit more about the young Arsenal the kids but no, nothing that I could see unless I missed it I was got perhaps, perhaps fell asleep when I was flicking through it I was a little bit bored with what was in it uh, young gun looks at a young keeper named Noah who, who's yeah he, re he rates himself he's like, like five or six head things about his his touch and his his positioning etc and he rates himself in the 90s on all these things so keep your eyes out for your, noah cooper noah cooper it's his squad numbers 100 there you go that's his squad number at arsenal it's not only chelsea and london have big squads is it so squads number one so keep your eyes on because he rates himself very highly uh, he did score very highly uh, you know no one else is rated him he just rated himself with those so that was quite unusual so uh, be warned, I will keep a, a lookout myself for Noah Cooper in the future. And that's it. Uh, very, very disappointing uh, for such a big magazine. Of course, it's it's very, very Arsenal orientated. But, you know, no, these away programmes, you do get a, a reasonable selection of stuff involving, involving your opponents as well. But perhaps, as I said, perhaps that's why Arsenal fans are just so, you know, uh, not all of them, of course they're not, but a little bit ignorant, a bit arrogant at times because all they get is fed Arsenal, 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 which is fair enough. And perhaps some more educated ones try and find out about other things as well. But, uh, yeah, um, a very weak programme for me. I didn't enjoy it. It's not my sort of thing, as I said. For an Arsenal fan, it's OK. But even then, to say, apart from that thing I mentioned about the goals in the minutes, it's... Basic stuff, nothing, nothing really to in interest. Certainly, certainly the older reader. Let's face it, as the sort of program selling is probably more more an older thing now. It's of course you get your half and half scars. I'd rather buy a program as a memento, but hey, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, it's certainly appealing to older fans. I, I don't think it, you know if this was the city program. I'd be very, very disappointed because all right, it's, it's all right to find about. You know, when they're interviewing your own players and showing you pictures, it's fine. But you you, you just want a few memories cast about as well of, of stuff and meetings, etc. So, yeah, a big disappointment. The, the poster's wonderful. The Zinchenko pull-out would have been nice perhaps to put him a little version in a, in a City shirt as well. You might have got... A, you might have got uh, City fans putting it on the wall. I doubt it because the big one would have still been an Arsenal kit. But, yeah, so nice Zinchenko pull-out. So lots of pages, but unfortunately... Content wise, not very good. So on my league table, I am gonna. I'm not gonna stick it at the bottom because, of course, uh, I've, I've got to give it a little bit of credit. It's certainly better than the Southampton program. So I'm gonna put it next to bottom. So, so Arsenal, although this uh, currently, as I'm recording, is second in the league. And who knows if that's changed since? Uh, I'll go second, second bottom as far as the program's concerned. Very, very disappointed. But if you do want to buy it, as I said, if you want a poster of Zinchenko and his Arsenal kit. There you go. It's from reachsportshop.com. So the same guys who do the city programmes. Right, so next up will be Nottingham Forest, their programme. So that'll be next up for looking at. And, of course, there's uh, two or three, four away games, I think, now before we you know, mixed in. So there'll be a, 
the next home one will be a little while i think it's newcastle i think as i'm recording this the next home game so although we may be playing leipzig before them i'm not too sure not too sure i don't know I'm not talking home programs i'm doing the away ones but uh, sorry arsenal next to bottom thanks for watching guys uh let me know your thoughts let me know your comments if you got the program were you, were you more impressed than i have did you go down and get a program or did you just send off for one let me know what you thought i was very very disappointed thanks for watching until we meet again that's one thing don't i please stay safe blues come on city bye for now